हेलो आई एम विशाल परिक टूडे वी विल एक्सप्लोर मोर ऑन कंडीशनिंग अवर डेटा सो इन पर्टिकुलर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टॉपिक्स दैट आर रिलेटेड टू डेट्स सो इन पर्टिकुलर वी आर गोइंग टू सी टूडे इज हाउ वी कैन डील विथ अ डेट हाउ वी कैन फॉर्मेट डेट एंड टाइम वैल्यूज एंड हाउ वी कैन यूज राइट टाइम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ डेट एंड टाइम फर्स्ट सो वेन एवर वी वॉन्ट टू वर्क विथ डेट एंड टाइम इन पाइथन so python provides us a module which is named as date time so this module is built in and it is directly provided by python so whenever we want to work with date time we have to first install this module inside our jupyter notebook or we need to import this date time module inside our current jupyter notebook now whenever we will work with date and time module it will return us a numeric value so in numeric value it will give us by default date the entire date and entire time next we are going to see is how we can format date and time values so whenever we are performing some of the data analysis at that time we need to transform or we need to convert our date and time into a specific format so for example if we are having the entire date and time we just need to extract only date we just need to extract only hour we just need to extract only minutes likewise so for that we have to perform the formatting of our date and time values so how can we do that so python provides a module which is known as date time and inside this date time module we are having two different functions so the first function is str and second function is strf time strf time means string formation uh, string formatting of our time next we are going to see is how we can transform in a correct manner so why this transformation is required so as we know different countries have different time zones and according to that they will show you date and time now consider a scenario when you are working with a machine learning project so at that particular time you want to keep a common date and time format so how can we do that so for that we have to use some of the built in functions that are provided by date time module one of the function is time delta so with the help of this function we can perform different different transformation so this time delta function takes different different parameters it can take hours it can take minutes seconds milliseconds microseconds the days that you want to import weeks and so on so whenever we want to perform any of the transformation at that time we have to use the function which is known as time delta so we will take an example and we will explore how we can work with date in particular how we can represent our date how we can format a particular date and how we can represent into a correct position or how we can represent in a correct transformation with the help of an example now let us work with date so what first we need to do first we need to import the library so which library we need to import so we need to import date time so here i have written import date time as dt so i have created a reference object of date time as dt now first let us try to print current date and time so how can we do that so with the help of this dt object there is a sub module which is named as date time and inside this date time module there is a method which is named as now so what this method will return this method will return current date and time so what i have done i have stored it inside a variable which is named as now so now let us print this so here you can see it is showing you this particular date that means first it is showing you year then it is showing you month and then it is showing you the current date and it is also showing you the time so the hour is 9 the minutes it's 49 and the second is 32 now we need sometimes we need to convert our date time into some of the specific format so for example if we want to convert our date time into string so for that first we are going to use a function which is named as str so what it will do it will convert your date this is your date object and if you want to convert it into a string so for that we have to use a function which is named as str 
so how can we do that so again first we have to import our required libraries that is date time library so i have written import date time as dt now first we need to have our current date and time so for that again we are using dt dot date time dot now so this now method will return you current date as well as your time so i am storing it inside a variable that is now and i am converting this date time object into string so how can we do that so we are explicitly typecasting it with the help of str function that is string so i have written str and inside this i have passed my variable that is now so let us run this so now what it has done the content remains the same but it has converted your this date time object into a string data type so whenever we want to manipulate with the help of a string so explicitly we have to type cast it with the help of string functions the next function we are going to see is strf time so what is the use of this function so whenever we want to perform string formatting with the help of date time module at that particular time we have to use the function strf time now why we require this function so for example if i want to extract only some of the parts from my date and time so let us consider one by one scenario so i want to just extract my year year i want to extract so how can we do that so for that we have to use some of the specific notations so whenever you want to extract only year so you have to use capital y so this is the notation and this notation is always fixed so we can't change this particular notation so how can we do that so again we need to have our current date and time object so our date and current date and time object is now so on that object we have to apply a function that is strf time so i have applied now dot str f time and inside this within single quotes or within double quotes we have to specify our year so what is the notation for the year that is percentage capital y so what it will do from your current date and time object which is storing entire date and entire time it will extract only year so let us run this so now you can see it is showing you only the year that is 2020 now why we need to do this because sometimes whenever we are working with machine learning and we have used timestamp so with the help of timestamp we just need to extract the data which are of a particular year so at that particular time you have to use this function and you need to extract it now we need to extract only the month so how can we do that so again there is a notation for extracting only a month so for that you have to use percentage small m so whenever you will use percentage small m at that particular time it will extract only the month from your date time object so how can we do that so here you can see first we need to have our current date and time object that is now then i have applied function that is strf time and inside this i have specified month notation that is percentage and small m inside the single code so let us run this so now you can see it is showing you only 10 now whenever you want to extract a particular date that means the date which is your current system at that particular time we have to use the notation that is small d what we have to use small d so how can we do that again first we need to have our current date and time object that is now then we have to apply the function that is strf time and inside this we have to use percentage small d so what it will do it will extract only the date of current date so let us run this so it is showing you 16 why because today is 16 now whenever this we have done was for date now similarly if i want to do for time so it is also possible now what does a time have it have hours minutes and seconds so let us extract different parts of time so first we want to extract hours so how can we do that so for that we have to use notation that is percentage capital h so it will extract only hour from your current system time so let us 
check and run this so again for that you need to have your current date and time object that is now dot strf time and inside this you have to pass percentage capital h so what it will do it will extract only our so let us run this so it is showing you 09 now similarly you want to extract only minutes so at that particular time we have to use notation that is percentage capital m so there is a difference between small m and capital m so small m is used for month and capital m is used for minute so how can we do that so again for that we have to use our current date time object that is now dot strf time function and inside this we have to pass our notation that is percentage capital m enclosed within single quotes so it will extract only minutes so let us run this see it is showing 51 now sometimes you need to extract only seconds so for that we have to use capital s so what it will do it will extract only seconds so let us check that so for that again we need to have our current date and time object that is now then we have to use the function that is strf time and inside this we have to use percentage s that is s is your again capital inside single quotes so let us run this so it will take current seconds now sometimes as we know this current date time object that is now is showing you entire date and entire time now sometimes you need to extract only time so for that what we have to do we have to extract only hours minutes and seconds so how can we do that so for that we have to use notation that is percentage capital h capital m and capital s so let us try and see this so first we need to have our current now object then we have to use a function that is strf time and inside this we have to use different different parameters so first i want to print our so i have used percentage h after that i want to display colon so i have used your colon then i want to show minutes so for that i have used capital m again i want to display a colon after minutes so colon and then it will consider your second why because we have specified your capital s so let us run this so what it is showing you it is showing you only your current time that is hours followed by minutes followed by seconds now next thing we are going to see is time transformation so why we need time transformation so if you observe that different countries have different time zones that is they consider that gmt so different countries have different time zones and there will be a difference in the times so how can we work that or whenever we are working with machine learning so for that we need to transform our data with a particular time of particular country so for that again we are having a function which is named as time delta so inside this time delta function we can pass different different parameters so we can pass hours we can pass minutes seconds milliseconds microseconds days as well as week so let us consider an example for time transformation so what first we need to do as usual first we need to import our date time module that is import date time as dt again you need to have your current date and time so for that we have to use a module which is present inside date time that is date time and inside this there is a method which is named as now so this method will again return you current date and time now whenever you want to transform a particular time so for example i want to increase my time zone by two hours so for what i have to do so for that as i need to increase so first i need to have my current date and time so as it is stored inside now so here i have used now plus the function that we have to use is time delta so this time delta function is again present inside the library that is date time so what we have to do we have to write dt dot delta that is dt dot 
time delta and inside this we have to specify different different parameters so for example if i want to increase my hours by two so what i have to write so i have to write hours as a parameter and i have to specify its value that is equal to two so what it will do for example our current hour is nine so what it will do it will increment it by two so it will show you 11 so let us try to print this so here it is showing you that is your current time then it is showing you time transformation what we have done we have incremented our hours by 2 so now it is showing you 12 hours and 38 seconds now whenever you want to find the difference between the two time zones so how can we do that so as we are having two different variables that is now and time value so what we need to do we just need to perform the subtraction between those so we will get the actual time difference between the two different zones so what i have done i have used a variable that is time value then subtracting it from our current time so it is showing you that it is showing you the time difference between these two is two hours why because our current time is 10 we have incremented its value by 2 that is showing you 12 hours and the time difference is 2 hours so what we have seen over here is how we can work with date how we can print current date and time how we can format a particular date and time using two different functions that is str and strf time as well as we have seen how we can work with time transformation with different time zones how we can determine it how we can increment it so this is all about your date and time module thank you